the desire to rain hell on your foes while looking like a mech from the manga Crossbone Gundam Dust. What do you mean, no? <laughs> uh, this is the AMA 953 Babby, a heavily armed, transforming mobile suit from the series Gundam Seed Destiny. Funnily enough, the word Babby means pig in several East Asian languages, which somewhat coincides with the fact that this thing looks like a very dedicated player of the game Bad Piggies Jerry Rig did to get her out of spare parts. Jokes aside, it's a really good mass produced unit, and the spiritual successor to the bird like Dien from Mob Suit Gundam Seed. In the game Rango vs F2, it costs 270 points. As its primary weapon, the Babby carries a 4 shot beam rifle in its right hand. It's a rather box standard one, though the ammo count is somewhat small. It does have its uses in setting up hit confirms, but I'll get to that part in a second. Your sub-weapon input is assigned to the missile pods on your back. There's 16 of them and they operate in a way that's similar to Zaku Phantom's fire beam missiles. The missiles in question can either be fired in a group of 8 at a time by the use of the sub-weapon input or in pairs of 2 should you press the special ranged attack input. In place of your melee weapon, you're given a shotgun. It works as a bit of a blend of Buster's shotgun and Dan's shotgun. It shouldn't be hard to get used to. Now for the elephant of the room, the Ardor Multi-Phase Beam Cannon. This is the weapon used in both of your charge attacks. The regular charge shot will stop your machine to fire a single shot from the beam cannon. This will down the target on hit and deals a decent amount of damage. On top of that, the projectile is admittedly pretty fast. As for the charge melee, it will fire a groby shot as opposed to the usual projectile. It hits really hard and if used well, you can shred through enemy HP. Obviously, it will leave you exposed as you fire, and unlike certain other Garobis in the game, you don't get the luxury of having a movable one. The Babby, as I mentioned earlier, is capable of transforming, specifically in the same manner as the Gundam Epion and the Hambrabi. On top of making you faster, you are no longer forced to endure the awkward startup animation whenever you fire missiles, since the wings are already flipped out. Speaking of, you do get access to all of your attacks, and only the charge attacks do interrupt the transformed state. This means that you can use both of the charge attacks to catch enemies off guard, because whenever the beam cannon fires, you will face your current lock on target, regardless of your current angle. So if you're an Aegis Gundam player that likes to throw out Grobies in your squid mode, this is functionally identical. As a mainly ranged unit, whose strongest tools are charge attacks, which mind you do stop the machine in place as you fire, the safest and the most straightforward way of dealing damage is to use hit confirms. You see, the missiles, the beam rifle and even the shotgun cause a brief flinching effect on hit. As this does leave the enemy without an option to immediately respond, you can immediately follow up with the beam cannon charge shots. Technically speaking, this is your bread and butter combos. Shotgun hits can be followed up with a charge shot while the Groby from the charge melee input is an ideal follow up too once you hit an enemy with a beam rifle or a missile. Of course, you will have to account for the effective range and the presence of other players or bots to avoid being intercepted. Even without the beam cannon, your ranged loadout is more than sufficient for putting pressure on the enemy as you fly around and throw missiles, beam shots and shotgun pellets in the general direction of your foes. Among the mobile suits that like a melee attack, this is the fastest one, and in my humble opinion, it's definitely one of the most enjoyable ones from that bunch. Some people prefer the Buster Gundam or the Calamity Gundam, but I do enjoy the Gian's Bastard Child a little more. This should conclude the Gundam vs Unit Guide number 8. If there's any unit from the Gundam vs games up to and including the PS3 generation that you want me to cover, feel free to throw your suggestions my way. That being said, this was the guide to AMA 953 Bobby, and this is Shirtlight, signing out.